and ethical consumer is so important to me. Add in the fact that what I'm buying is delicious and I'm sold. That is why I'm so excited to talk with Lauren Blanco today, the co-founder and CEO of Markham & Fitz. Markham & Fitz is a chocolate company based here in Bentonville, Arkansas. Their brick and mortar store where we are visiting them today is at 8th Street Market right behind me. Lauren is going to share with us how to make the perfect hot chocolate. Then we're gonna take that hot chocolate out onto one of my favorite trails at Mount Fitzgerald. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thanks so for coming. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I've been so excited about this. So we're here before it opens. Mm -hmm. um, what is going on right now? It smells amazing like it always does, but walk me through what you're doing. Basically, we have chocolate makers in the back that are making chocolate um, every day, kind of from like eight to four. So they're all here in the back getting everything ready before our retail staff come in to serve customers. As we make chocolate, you know, that's like the first thing that people see about us and, um, you know, celebrating people is, is really what matters. You know, we should be creating a product that helps people celebrate life and um, the people in their lives. So I have a great team and I work with them to develop all of our new products and flavors. So everyone, we've got lots of creative people on our team and we kind of collaborate and work together to create really delicious products. You said you can show me how to make the perfect hot chocolate. No, no pressure, but I'm very excited about this. Yes. So, um, what is the first thing you need? I'm guessing really good chocolate, right? Really good chocolate, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And also really good milk. Yeah. This is a 75% a Haiti dark chocolate with um, Mexican chili syrup. So we'll just let that run. So as you notice, it's constantly whisking. You make it over the stove top. You just pour milk into a, like a, a pot heat it over medium heat and then when you add your chocolate you just want to whisk it continually until it's done and then you pour it out right. <laughs> squish it in yeah there. yeah squish it in all right we're squishing it in there oh that is gonna be oh, amazing heck yeah. with a couple of different companies that help us source cocoa in a way that's transparent um, and that they can kind of back up all of the ethical practices that are used in the supply chains. It's a step beyond fair trade. It's essentially an alternative to the commodity market. I mean, when we started a business here, a lot of times people ask why we started a business in Northwest Arkansas. And the first thing that I think of is like literally all the support that we have from different organizations that support uh, startups, small businesses, all of the resources that we have access to. I mean, I definitely entered with a lot of blind confidence. Like, I want to learn this. I want to learn what it takes to build a business so that I can use these skills to share with others. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel like business can be a force of good. And I think that's what's always driven me. It, you know, it's probably more that than chocolate. Yeah. And, as, and chocolate is like, chocolate's the icing on the cake. We always hope to continue to provide uh, chocolate in a way that's interesting and special to our community.